on everybody thank you for tuning in to a brand new episode all right guys i wanted to talk to you today about what the radiator cap does uh for your engine coolant system it's a very very important thing for your um your coolant your reservoir uh your radiator all right you will not be able to drive when the car comes up to operating temperature which is for for both of mine it's about 185 degrees on the thermostat when that happens the rate the thermostat opens up it cools off at the the engine and then it runs back to the radiator but what happens to the pressure that's inside the reservoir the reservoir pressure is supposed to be controlled by this cap this cap controls it actually pushes um, the boiling point of the coolant and it raises it up so it doesn't boil in the car in, in the uh, tank you you will overheat if this goes bad and how you know it goes bad is literally you shake it goes bad I can't really shake it much it will not let your coolant go through the radiator you see the water boiling that is not a broken head gasket that's not a cracked head gasket especially when your oil is clean like so okay so this valve gets stuck and this valve on the cap is supposed to let evaporate the the pressurized air in there but it's not letting it therefore the oil, the, the coolant is boiling and it's not going through the radiator especially when it's brand new coolant and you can tell it's brand new um, I flushed her last week really good coolant radiator everything is solid but the cap this is a very very important without the cap you if this actually gets stuck and I can shake it here and there I hear it a little bit but you're supposed to hear it um, you if this goes bad guys you will not make it two miles down the road because this will overheat your car and eventually if i leave this broken like this eventually she'll overheat um and her thermostat again 185 degrees and i'm telling you she will eventually overheat so i caught it because i have an obd scanner uh, that runs the entire system's checklist and i see live data checking and it goes from 180 degrees, which is normal, which is just like the Lincoln, to 204 degrees and then back down. The fan kicks on, the coolant is fine, but when this is when the car is running, I come here and I'm seeing this bubbling. That means the cap is bad. We replace that, it's about 15, 10, 15 bucks. You replace the cap, you're good to go. So Alright guys. As you can tell here, the coolant is at 176, and I'm driving normally, 2,000 RPMs, just regular traffic. You can see the ambient air temperature, which is at 68, running my RAM air intake system into the box, the air box, uh, which is 79 degrees right now. Really good numbers, um, and that's pretty stable. So at 176, normally, uh, this is exactly what it needs to be uh, on your gauge. 178, depending on your thermostat, of course. Mine's at 185, like I said. Um, and if you have 195, it should stay at 190 to 195. Um, and just make sure your cap makes that shaking noise um, where you can hear it rattle. If it's not, that means that valve is stuck and you don't want it stuck. Um, last night I would notice that the temperature would rise from 180 all the way up to 204 and that is not normal at all it kind of seemed like she was having hot flashes and I noticed that the water is boiling the coolant is boiling so I was like what is happening and I realized well the coolant cap is not uh, it's not working properly so now as you can tell I am idling the revs are super low at 700 RPMs, 183 degrees, really good numbers. I just wanted to show you guys and let you confirm why your car 
is either overheating or close to overheating. Don't, just don't hesitate. It's a $15 co uh, coolant cap, 16 PSI. Make sure to replace it. Make sure to listen to what I just showed you. Um, keep your eye on your temperature because winter is coming. And um, that's about it. And I hope I saved you guys some time and money and uh, a whole engine. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.